and of course her counterpart for tonight from Venlo de Netherlands, she is Ariella Wolf. Furthermore, tonight we've also got to introduce to you to the flyweight championship match between Mark Andrews defending against Will Osprey. That is a rematch from past history. Well, let's see how that's going to evolve. If you haven't made if you haven't watched it make sure to do so now fortune one triumph trophy now live on the network without the commentary version the commentary version is coming to you soon but definitely make sure to go and watch that because you will have seen who has won the triumph trophy and who has won the unified women's championship here we go, the Dats Tag Team titles on the line, AK-16 defending against Tunda Kanea tonight. And let's see what that's going to bring us. I am excited for it, I hope you are as well. Hopefully it's going to become a good thing. Oh! Yeah, that's just gonna hurt. We've got many interesting things to come to you in this wonderful hour of wrestling. At least, that is if you finish it in that time. Looking forward to Sunday's episode 2 of special events from Butchers with Love, including. A unified women's championship match, a world championship match, and in the main event, Mark Haskins will defend his RFPW championship in a triple threat TLC match against Kyle O'Reilly and Stormin Curtis Norman. Kyle O'Reilly, of course, has already been a former RFPW champion, and this might be the shot for Curtis Norman to finally become what he deserves the top. Of the top. So we're going to see how that's going to be going. Especially in this championship match as well. And of course, also on Wrestle Club this week, we will see Kim Blight uh, defend her female student style against Tanya Silkovich. So Kim in action twice this week. Oh boy. Yeah, that's likely to hurt, isn't it? Oh, good job by Leray. And now what? Oh, good take down. Of course, there's lots of work we could be going through throughout the next couple of weeks. Oh, man. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you're gonna get. Tag mate, ladies and gentlemen, tag mate. Dude. 
Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh man. Yeah, that's likely to hurt, isn't it? Oh, so close for AK-16 to retain. You would have to be wondering what might be going on. Oh, shit. And then we go. Two. There we go. Well done. Ouch. Yeah, that's gonna hurt. Oh man. Ooh. Did you have to do that? Wow. Just craziness there. Craziness. Well, what can we expect from this crowd as well here tonight? I'm thinking about things that are coming up. This might my focus be wrong? Well, correct me if I'm wrong. Wow. Jesus Christ. Yeah, there's gonna be something. I can tell you that. Oh, booyaka, booyaka. There we go. Come on, we can do this. I know we can. Oh, boy. Man. Two. Oh, 
And Lorray takes uh, this case. Ariel Wolf to the outside. I was kind of confused there. Blight for the cover. Trying very hard to stay alive here. There we go. Oh, damn. Yeah, I'm getting in. Come on. No, can't do it. something Jesus go and blight is the one really dishing out here today Jesus. There we go now. Oh, Tunda. Cliffy, thank you for the host. Killer Joker Clown, hello, welcome to the channel. Hope you're gonna have a good time. Oh, Wolf drops it down hard on Thunder. Cover. Blight on the rise. And that's it. Good job by these ladies here in the Death Stack Team Title Division. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners. And still do that, tag team champions, Ariella Wolf and Kim Blight, AK-16. Congratulations, these women still going strong. Wonderful, wonderful job. I cannot state it in any other way. Really lovely jobs here by these two women. There's nothing more to say about that. We're moving on between singles action. It also has to happen, ladies and gentlemen. Don't forget that. Oh boy, we're starting off strong, ladies and gentlemen. Let me tell you why. Because today is the reintroduction of this guy, former RPW champion and trainer Harvey Anderson. Uh, as far as my considerations are right, he is the uh, longest running athlete here in RPW without a break. Of course, you have seen uh, Jeffrey and Amos a touch of it. They've already taken breaks in between their stints. 
And Arvi Anderson is still going strong after nearly two years and two months. Well, two years and a month. So that's good. Going to keep that going, that momentum going. And make sure to go to our network and make sure to watch back the Fortune 1 Triumph Trophy event. We will find out who's won the tournament as well as become the first unified women's champion. Very important to go and watch that. And of course there is more to come ladies and gentlemen. I will tell you that. We have a lot of things coming here. Oh boy. There we go. There we go. And Anderson will waste no time. We'll try to go for everything they can. If you have predictions, then please let us know. We're very interested to hear what you think. Oh, but Tisha, we know what Tisha can do. What are you looking forward to in this week of wrestling? Please let us know, of course. We will give you an update on uh, what we've seen last night. We have to mention it, of course, the uh, passing away of Joni Laura, Laura, aka China, just at 45 years young of age. Saddening to see somebody who was pioneer at the women's wrestling division throughout the world made sure that everything could be transcended male female champions booty and power it was all there you know something we can say of China that she was a true hero and inspired a lot of women to take the reins Tisha in the corner. We have to carry on the show, of course. Hashtag Fight Night. If you want to tweet out about anything that's going on at RFW 2014. But who's going to take over? After next week, our my set. As of the Raging Falcon being the owner will be done. The reins will be handed over to our new owner by YTWE18 Plus to Mr. DeVito. We'll see how that's going to go. To count. There's a last week as my reign over this entire promotion. I will be the majority owner. Be prepared for that. But. The reins will fall into the hands of Mr. DeVito. Signed per contract. Tisha now. For Charlie's Angels and Anne's table. Why would you do that? Of course, we thank all our other sponsors OZBTV, the Wrestling Matters Podcast, and Cyber Wrestling Entertainment. Not forgetting Aki Online Universe. 
There's been so much going on, we're working very hard behind the scenes to get much more things done. It just takes a while. Oh man. And that's it, Harvey Anderson takes the victory here. But yes, Harvey Anderson is your winner. Gets it done once again. Good job. We're moving on to another singles match scheduled for one fall. Last week he beat BT Gun and he's back again this week to compete. It's Mr. Pactacular Jesse Goddard. Let's see what he can do this week on Fight Night. As the bell rings and he's staring into the crowd. Last week with this set. And up from Butchers with Love this Sunday on Twitch.tv slash the Raging Falcon. We'll be taking another notch. New stage design. In a new hall here at the Portland Mall in Valkenburg, the Netherlands. And that's how that's going to go. We're very excited for everything that's about to come by. There we go. There we go. Thank you. Now that's over. And here is his opponent from Vienna, Austria. It's Big Daddy Walter. Last week he graced in defeat against Mark Coffey. Alongside his longtime friend Axel Data Jr. But this week has to go at it alone. And let's see how that will be fair him. Ladies and gentlemen, we have some very interesting news coming to you. Last night's Triumph Trophy winner, we can unveil that now. James the King Kelly has announced his retirement from wrestling. We had enough, thought it was it. And he will retire at least from RFPW effective today. We thank him for his services. Thanks for being a, such a great part. And thanks for being the first winner of the Triumph Trophy. Oh man. Nice. Oh man. Oh. 
There we go. If there's something you would like to see, then please let us know via Twitter or the Raging Falcon at gmail.com. Excuse me, right there. But we are generally excited for things to come here. strength by Jesse Goddard's He's doing quite remarkable and Walter what can we expect more from him of course taking a look at the order of merit Jesse goes at 35th place Walter at 41. Oh, dude. You just did not do that. The rest of us will also be happy to notice that they have reached and assembled a total of 600 points as of last week. Just a bit over that. So they get another 1,000 in bonus uh, for the ooh, jackpot at the end of the year. Congratulations. They'll also be happy to know that we're coming up with uh, end of the month figures financially. Let you know the status is. We started off with a budget of 2,000. And uh, since then we have been in debt. But slowly we're starting to make the money back. We had to invest a lot into the uh, new capacity of the arena. Lovely, that is now paying out. A man steaming ahead. As I guess what you'd like to see, but not in this fashion. Two. that's trying to go for the technical part of it trying to get everything out of Godos here question is can he do it oh it's got him This is great work. In all part ways by Big Daddy Walter. We could seriously grab the victory here today on Monday Night Fight Night. Oh, one power bomb, two power bombs, and three power bombs. Jesus, cover. And that's it. Big Daddy Walter gets his first victory here in RFPW. Great win for him. Last week he didn't manage to do it, but this week he does. 
Good job by Walter. And moving on to women's action, schedule for one fall, introducing first, Liva Bates. He of course formerly known as Blue Pants, still wears them though. But let's see what she is able to perform here today for us. Which is going to have very competition. Let's take a look at the, uh, the virtual rankings. Also taking in action into account and has already transpired. Lever Bates at a, well, staggeringly low position. Um, Lever Bates actually in position number 15 out of 17. That is quite low. Considering what she has done. This girl is not really that much higher. It's cheerleader Melissa. And cheerleader Melissa as it stands now. Is 2-5. Two, two, two wins, 5 losses. Question is can she make it better? As the competition between. Especially the men and the women. Is heating up. Definitely seeing the rise in the women by points at the top is really making a difference here, especially uh, the top four. Uh, top five complaints wise stands it like this Viper 25, Melly Gray, Medium, both 21. Ariella Wolf uh, uh, on 15, and Kimberly Black on 17. And some also involve intact team action. But those are virtual standings based on projections of future events. So keep in mind that these may not be as is. Good job. Oh man. Oh boy. Four. I'm gonna keep this going, ladies and gentlemen. We're already at six. This could have nearly been over. Switching positions here. Bob Bates, smart. Smart move by Lever Bates. Keeps the momentum going. But Melissa also wasting no time whatsoever. But at least they're trying, which is good, I think. Oh boy. There we go, one, two, oh no. There we go. Oh 
Ugly. Oh man, got a good kicking out of it. What more do you want? Good power slam. There we go, Melissa. Dropped hard. And oh, no, that should be the knockout. And now there's three, ladies and gentlemen. So that means we have a winner for you. Which is Cheerleader Melissa. Congratulations. Well deserved victory here. But yes, ladies and gentlemen, there is more to come. I promise you that. Now that's coming up next. Ladies and gentlemen, from Nero's nightclub, he is the incumbent war ground champion. Danny Richardson. We're going to take a look back at the War Grand Championship as Danny Richardson won it from Damien Ace at It Takes Two to have a match. Note on that is he's able to carry it for just two more weeks until the 3rd of May. For 30 days and after it will be very much disabled. And Danny Richardson will be the final War Grand Champion. So he is incumbent, so that means the title will be released after a period of time, which will be on the 3rd of May. Let's see whether Danny Richardson is able to cope up his abilities to go for the RFPW Championship. Cape on the coast from Scotland. It's Joel Hendry. Yeah. Is he actually? I still get confused quite a lot. So I have to be careful. Joel Hendry is indeed from Scotland, Edinburgh. 185 tall, 104 kilos. Danny Richardson, 180 tall, 72 kilos. So there's a very much distinct value in between those two. There we go. Yes, this is what it's all about here today. The honours at the end of the month of April. As you draw closer to From Butchers With Love. We have many things to come on that. Because we will see a lot of action, students title, tag team title, the unification match for the Young Guns and Flyway Championship. Although there has been increased discussion to keep that going. Especially in the main event of tonight, that might be switching over. So discussion still going whether that is the right choice to do. But we will keep you informed on it. Six was the title. And a key moment to change over. Back body dropped. But Richardson gets back up. Not for long though. Oh man. Crushing.
Oh man. Key question, who's gonna win the match? As it sounds as of last week's order of merit, Danny Merchant stands at position number six as Joe Henry has fallen quite down the ladder. Joe Henry only at position 28. Definitely lost ground since coming in. And here is your current top 10 for the men's order of merit. Joe Coffey leads the way to Kyle O'Reilly, Axel Dieter Jr., Noam Dahl, Will Ospreay, Freddie Stahl, Danny Richardson, Zack Sabre Jr., Mark Haskins, and the number 10, the ex-owner Jeffrey. Also taking in the uh, Women's Order of Merit Top 10, Viper, Melanie Gray, Candice LeRae, Erica Lee, Miriam Lufisto, Kimberly Bly, Camilla Leonard, uh, Crazy Mary Dobson, and Ariella Wolf. Oh, that could have been it, but the referee didn't count it. That's a quite important decision, ladies and gentlemen. There we go, Henry says no. Good night, Danny Richardson. Cover. And that's it, Joe Hendry wins. Very important win for Hendry. Deserved, but let's see what it can keep on doing here in RFPW. And here we go, she's back, ladies and gentlemen, earlier tonight, she didn't win the Dudette's Tag Team titles. And now there's shit hitting the fan, because Jessica Tunda has decided to challenge Candice LeRae for a match. And two tag team partners early on the night were going on singles action. Oh boy. After Grace defeat in 15 minutes, now a square off once again in this sub main event. Daredevils, these women, daredevils. And here she is, her opponent, the other half of Thunder Candy. Candice Lurie. There's gonna be something. But should this team break up, no worries. We've got a new team coming together. The Kimber Bombs are back. Kimberly and Cherry Bomb. Let's see what that's gonna bring us. And here we go. Ding dong. Turn her off to a quickening start. She wants to beat her <laughs> tag team partner, I presume. But failed to rescue her in time for the cover and the uh, winning pinfall. Nice hip toss. This might be forcing the breakup. There we go. Uh oh.
There we go. Oof. Yeah, that might be hurtful. Oh man, take down. There we go, there's gonna be action here. Volatile action. Can this Lorraine hit height first on the mat? It's gonna get to under a tick hang. Yeah. There we go. Up and to the ropes. Is it not where you want to be? We're gonna see a women's superplex. Oh, what? She completely turned that around. Not knowing what I would see, I would expect that to do that. Wow, see that power bomb? That should be the end of her. Good night, Candice LeRae. But only a tick hand. And I can't believe it. She thought she had it, then she didn't. Oh, Lorraine. Fabulous turnaround. And off to the top rope. Moonsault. Oh, and that she missed. Tonda taking it back over now. Boston Crab. Lorraine trying to go for the ropes. Referee trying to move, but there's no room. Definitely hard to hurt. Candice LeRae here. She can try to go for the cover, give herself some more recovery time. Lorraine's not giving up. But it is a brilliant women's matchup. She hit her, not fully, but keeps the momentum. Headache for Thunder tomorrow. Good job. Two. So many things are well done in this match. It takes the time to tell the story of earlier tonight when our challengers lost to AK-16 in a tag team title shot for the Dead's Tag Team Championship. Another two count for Jessica Thunder. It's at four or five now. I doubt she will want to keep that going. Nice elbow drop. Not fully sure whether she connected the way she wanted it to. Systematically going for the ligaments here. 
see that power bomb. That should be it. Is it a one, two, and three? And it is. Here's your winner, Jessica Thunder. She gets a singles win, and that has been a long time as well. But she is very well back on track in singles competition. Let's see what she's able to do once again. There we go. And now it's time for the main event of tonight. It's a match set for one fall and is for the Flyweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger. From Raynham, England, standing at 185 tall, weighing in at 82 kilograms. It's Will Osprey. And he's happy to be here. Can he start his second run as flyweight champion? Let's hope so. We're going to see whether that's going to be paying off. To the next amount of time. And here we go, ladies and gentlemen, he is the defending champion. From Cardiff Royal, standing at 173 tall, weighing at 68 kilos. It's Mark Andrews. Loads of talk has been going on between him as he was set. Uh, to defend his flyweight title again this Sunday against Alexander Hendry in a possible merger for the Young Guns Championship should he lose that match has been taken off card so now it was unfit to defend him let him defend again let alone against somebody who is not even in his own weight or at least genre of wrestling category and so should Mark Andrews or Will Ospreay retain, they did not have to face Alexander Henry this Sunday. That might be a good thing. So we're going to negate that. Yeah, very curious about what's going to happen here tonight. This could go many ways. But I'm sure they still will make a hell of a match of it. To make it work. But here we go, it is what we've been living up to. Exactly. But also what does make it happen, you can watch all shows on the mind as well as the events. Make sure to do so, very important if you want to help us out. Because you know them trouble we've had with the finances because of our investments make sure to still watch our shows which is very important for us to stay alive
There we go. Oh boy. There we go. Osprey, oh nice, Hurricanrana. Fuck, that gives me goosebumps. Ridiculous what these guys are able to do. Really, it just is. Can't help me. Wow. There we go. Oh. That's what you like to see, don't you? Oh, good job. Alive and kicking. Two. Who's going to walk away as the flyaway champions? Or will they fly away? That's question. Mandrews. Holy shit. That is it, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Peaches and peppers. Bloody hell. Here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Still your winner and flyaway champion. Mark Andrews, congratulations mate, well deserved, good night from Monday Night Fight Night.